Welcome to the next section about cross-cutting concerns. Cross-cutting concerns are technical concerns that are not necessarily bound to a business logic in our application, but, well, necessary in order to execute this. So we're going to look at interceptors, what they are and how to bind and activate them, how to configure our enterprise applications and how to do matters such as caching or logging. And the first video is about interceptors. We're going to see how we can intercept business methods using the Interceptors API and how to use the annotations such as Interceptors, Interceptor and Around Invoke. So imagine we have our business functionality, our manufactured car, and we somehow want to invoke some more functionality around that method, maybe something that is not necessarily bound to our business domain. For example, we want to track some, some process here. So imagine we want to add some so-called interceptor. We use the add interceptors annotation to do so, and then we co can provide one or several interceptors. I will call this process tracking interceptor, and this will be a class, an interceptor, that we specify in the control package, and that is itself also annotated with add interceptor. And now this interceptor, well, will specify a so-called around invoke method that is annotated with around invoke. So the annotation makes that for the method um, declares this to be the method that is invoked around our business functionality. And by injecting a so-called invocation context, we can simply context.proceed proceed with our business functionality. That means in this case, our method here is simply be called without doing anything else. So this is intercepts the invocation. And now, of course, we could process tracker. We in could include another bean, such as a process tracker here that then tracks once a method has been called. And now we have the information that the method has been called and we could also use the context object to get some more information about the invocation. For example, the arguments on which this method has been called and so on and so forth. And this is how we can intercept some logic in our application without binding that too much to our business code. So only this annotation controls whether the interceptor is called or not. And this is not tightly bound into our business logic here. 